Associate Professor Andy Moore, and thank you for joining me on AJ Asks. Hi, my pleasure. Great to be with you. What's the difference between a tumor cell and a normal cell? Great question. So, a tumor cell started out as a normal cell, but it had some changes take place or mutations, as we call them, that altered the way the cell works. And so, instead of doing normal jobs within the body, the tumor cell has lost that ability to do its normal job. And it's also gained an ability to grow and grow and grow and make more tumor cells. So what's the difference between different tumor types exactly? It all depends on where the tumor starts. Patients who have leukemia, for example, the tumor starts in the bone marrow, which is the factory where all our blood cells are made. And so it kind of depends where the tumor cell kicked off and started to grow. Why is there such thing as a tumor bank? Why would you want tumors in a bank? Well, so we can learn about uh, what causes cancer and we can learn about how to treat cancer better. And that's only because of the research that's been done on tumor material that's been collected over time. And so it's a really, really important resource. Yeah, so tumor banks sound very useful. Really, really useful. How do you collect and store the cells or biospecimens? In different ways. We uh, get the pieces of tissue from the laboratory or we get a, a tube of bone marrow or blood and we snap free some of that material or we can mix it with what I call like uh, special Gatorade, which keeps the cells happy and, and gives them some nutrients uh, and some antifreeze material to stop the cells from exploding. And then we gently chill them out and freeze them in a controlled way down to really super low temperatures that can then be stored for years and years. Uh, and then at a later time when the researcher needs to do their experiments with those tumor cells, they take the little vial out and thaw it out and uh, and grow it up in the lab. How do the cells explode exactly? The cells are made mostly of water, just like our bodies are mostly water. The, the water inside the cells expands as it freezes to make a tiny microscopic ice cube. It's like if you put a bottle of soft drink in the freezer, it'll expand and blow the top off. Don't do that because it makes a mess. And, and so the same thing happens in our cells. And so we, we mix them with some antifreeze. Yeah, I guess antifreeze is pretty important in that situation. Yeah, it's a very special antifreeze. Not the kind that you put in your car radiator. Who do you share these stored cells with? So there are lots of different research groups all around Australia and around the world who are doing cancer research. And we work together in Australia and New Zealand as part of the ANSCHOG Biobanking Network. So I had AML in 2012. Would there be a biospecimen of my cancer somewhere? Quite possibly, yeah. Your individual uh, AML, that would have been something that would have been discussed with your parents when you were first diagnosed and your biopsy was taken. Often uh, when patients are treated on a clinical trial, a sample of the bone marrow gets collected and um, sent to a research laboratory that they can analyse the tumour cells from all of the patients on that trial. My final question for you is a tough one. Okay, okay. All right. If you could create your own kids' cancer project bear, what would it be? Oh, that's actually an easy one. That's an easy question. It would be a bicycle bear. I like riding a bike. And I don't think the Kids Cancer Project have got a bicycle bear. That's actually really awesome. That's a good idea, actually. Yeah, yeah, little helmet and all. Thank you for coming on to the show. It's been a pleasure having you today. My pleasure indeed. It's great. Do you have any questions you'd like asked? Leave them in the comments below and they could come up in future episodes of AJ Asks.